Josh George here. College football week five predictions coming up. Washington and UCLA. This is a night Friday night game. Look, Washington's D line has looked pretty good. UCLA doing good under Chip Kelly, putting up points. Can Washington get sacks is a huge key. I've got them finding a way to get the win. Alabama has absolutely rolled. Arkansas struggled. I'm I'm serious. I don't know what to expect. I kind of expected them to find a way to win against uh, Texas A&M last week. Um, the spread was funky. They were minus one and a half. I think Alabama can win and cover. I just don't. I just don't see the Hogs making a big push. So, Michigan and Iowa. The Maryland game. I hate judging a team off of one game, but that Maryland game battling from behind, and it's been a funky game, a funky game of college, a funky season of college football as it is. But that Maryland game kind of exposed a little bit of this Michigan defense. But with that said, they're playing Iowa. Bet the under. Iowa's averaging like 13 points per game, if that. So, uh, I've got Michigan. Defensive game. Bet the under. NC State and Clemson. Look, Clemson's a good team. DG, DJ had an amazing game against Wake Forest. Had his coming out party. Um, the defense looked questionable. If NC State and the Wolfpack, if David Dorn can find something to key in on, find a way to expose that offense, turn it into a shootout, and give, um, and if they give that offense a chance, I think they find a way to get it done. I'm with the Wolfpack. Look, Oklahoma State and Baylor. Rematch of the Big 12 title game that's taking place in Waco. Look, the Baylor defense was hitting hard. And I think they got away with some calls that could have been targeting in that Iowa State game. Look, look for the refs to tense up if, and look for some calls to go against Baylor in this one. And Oklahoma State. And Gundy take advantage of it. Spencer had had an off week, and um, Spencer Sanders, the run game, Baylor struggles with that. If he if he's keeping it, they get it done. Oklahoma State beats Baylor. Wake Forest and Florida State, man, this was a tough one to call. That O line for Florida State, I've been harping on. Well, they've been looking better. Um. And they're almost the surprise team of the season in the ACC, I'd say, Florida State. And they're at home. But Wake Forest looks so good against Clemson, better than I thought they'd look, you know? And it's been one of those, yeah, bounce back game, Wake Forest, they beat Florida State. This is a semi rival game. Utah State's going to get up for this, but BYU... It's still one of the best coached teams, one of the most experienced teams in college football. They get the win. Look, Ohio State and Rutgers. Man, Rutgers was ahead of Iowa for a second there, and that often surprised me because they got ahead of Iowa. I don't think they're going to get ahead of Ohio State. I think Ohio State is one of the top two teams in the country, and I think they cruise and cover. So Ohio State big. USC came, came from behind. Offense held the 17 points against an Oregon State offense that really struggled. But Arizona State's already fired their head coach. The effort was lackluster against Utah. Turnovers and penalties piled up. USC runs away with this one. Okay, Kansas. A 4-0 Kansas football team against an Iowa State team. Frustrated against Baylor. 
made a light push to make it look closer than it actually was. Trying to find a way to move the ball. Those big tight ends for Iowa State are a huge key. They've got some of the best tight ends, at least in the Big 12. I'd say they're top three in the country in that category. Uh, still trying to replace Brock Purdy and things like that on offense. Um, I think this is the week that they get steady and Kansas reads the paper. Maybe they even come in ranked in the top 25. And Iowa State runs away with this one. I think another blowout. Look, Navy and Air Force, this comes down to who can run the ball. We all know it. And who uh, can play fundamental football. I just think the Navy program is in shambles. Fun rivalry game, but I'm with Air Force. I think they get the win. And Old Miss and Kentucky. Look, it really comes down to the lane train and Mark Stoops. And can Mark Stoops' defense stop this old Miss offense? Look, Tulsa found a way to do it. This offense seems to be up and down, and I think it's a close game. And it and Kentucky, I mean, cause I think they're good enough offensively to take the lead, be ahead in the fourth quarter with a couple minutes to go, and Ole Miss – has the ball, and they've got to make a drive. Can Kentucky get the stop at the end of the game? And I think they can. So I've got Kentucky to get the win. I'm Josh George, Week 5 College Football.